All right, so let's continue with the linear rail upgrade for my 6040. I'm currently trying to set the first rail straight according to this straight edge that I got here. And it's looking pretty good. Not, not super good, but about plus minus 100 of a millimeter. It's harder than I thought to, to get it straight. Or aligned is perhaps a better word. I will try and change this 100 of a millimeter dial indicator out to 1000 of a millimeter. And so this is how it looks with the one uh, thousand of a millimeter dial indicator. And I had to put a piece of uh, aluminium on top of the straight edge since the spring was a bit stronger in this Mito Toyo dial indicator, so it kind of pushed the straight edge away. But uh, let's see if it's easier to adjust it when it's a bit magnified. This one is so sen sensitive, so this whole thing here, and when I start to to slide the rail, the friction, and it just moves around a lot, but you can see here that we got some some issue. So that, that is uh, about 100 of a millimeter, but a bit more magnified. So I will do some adjustments and, and we will see if I can get it a bit better. I now adjust the rail a bit and it looks a bit better. So where are we at? We are at 66. So that is like, I mean, just if I move this one a bit, I think I, I need to be happy with that. It should be within 100 of a millimeter now. And when I have set this one according to the straight edge, I will set the other one according to this one. At least that's the plan. But what I will do now is that I will tighten down the all the screws with... Um, I don't know what this one is called in English. Yes, that my straight edge moved a bit now, but I will, will adjust it. 
after I tighten the screws. Right, I now attempted to level in or align the second rail to the first rail and looks pretty good. But I got a big problem at the end here. Take a look at this. Seem seems very bent over here. But uh, from this screw and over here it's only about five micron it varies i think see it goes pretty straight the dive indicator changes a bit when one changes direction as you can see here so when one gotta go with a consistent uh, pull or push in one direction I didn't manage to fix this uh, error here fully, but I managed to move it outwards a bit. So it's bad from from here to here, and I don't think it's super critical, but but uh, yeah, super hard for me to bend just this little piece here. I did use a piece of wood to to bend bend on here and it got a got much better but i mean this little piece here i can't bend it and i do have a limited amount of time so i will have to be happy with that um, 90 percent at least is within 10 microns so the next thing to do now is to to drill some holes in this aluminium plate here for uh, mounting the rails. When I did the hole pattern for, for this one, I didn't know which uh, width of uh, the aluminium that I could find, so I will have to drill these holes now you have a limited budget as well and we'll have to, to stick to what I can find cheap and this was what I could find cheap. Not optimal but it was cheap. And I will will have to do do my best best with with what I got. So that's why I didn't drill the holes from, from the beginning. But now when these ones are aligned I can measure the distance between the the uh, between the uh, sorry for that delay in my head it's pretty late the distance between the holes here between the rail box and drill the holes in the plate so that will have to be tomorrow clock is currently um some autofocus beta almost one at night so time to go to bed and i will continue tomorrow